Okay, so what sits next to my bed is this backpack right here. And it's a three-day pack. Um, you can tell it's packed. It's not very light, but I can carry it. Um, these shoes here, nice, some nice good boots and some boot socks. So those that sits right next to my bed. And I'll show you in a little bit what's inside my pack because it, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, I have recently found these buckets here. They're Adventure Mills and um, Mountain House Adventure Mills. I got these from Bymart. I don't know you know what if you guys have Bymarts or whatever. Not every place has them. You can order them online. They come from Oregon and um, they are 24 servings. Um, it's a nice bucket for uh, to get water and stuff if you need it. They're just add um, just add water to the packets and stuff. This one is open because we've taken some out of it. Oh. Oh. It's not very easy to open. So anyway, it's got beef stew, beef stroganoff, granola. So it's got cereal, classic spaghetti, and chicken fried rice. Well. My husband is a huge meat fanatic, so I found this place called Thrive Life, and there is chicken. These are dehydrated, and um, all this stuff is like 25 years shelf life, 50 years shelf life. Um, I can't find off the top. Uh, this one says 30 years. See, so 30 years there. And so anyway, I've taken some of these and I've put them in my backpack. Now, I have a backpack a little bit smaller than this that is also a three-day backpack. And it is in my car. So if I'm stuck out away from home and everything and I can't, um, my car break down or something happens to me and I need to get home or get to my other location that I need to get to, um, I've got enough food in there and stuff also and blankets and, and everything to survive with. Um, I've also got some water buckets, water, you know, you just, you need everything. So I'm going to turn this off so I can open up my backpack and show you what's inside. So just give me just a second. Look at this cute cup I found. It says gnome for the holidays. Sorry. I'm a holiday person okay I got the bucket open these are the meals that come in it this is two servings each I found some of these I think at Fred Meyers um these ones don't last as long but I thought you know variety is always good to have um, so this is really stuffed and I I'm gonna try to get this open and taken apart before my husband gets home and put back together. So, I have some snow pants. Nice, right? Um, this is a nice little sleeping bag I found. It's not a very warm one. Um, goes down to 40 degrees, but there's also um, snow pants you know layer layer yourself up uh oh i'm a coffee fanatic this is a coffee grinder filters and stuff like that i know um i also have clothes so that's an outfit uh to hide in the woods with um some extra clothes like i said uh layer up there's hats all my underwear and socks I know it sounds, I mean, you need this stuff. Um, these are long sleeves, short uh, tank tops, because you never know when you're going to have to go out into the woods and stuff. Um, a sweatshirt. I'm going to stop digging down there because that's just a sweatshirt. But there's another pocket in here. That is my food. So spicy Southwest skillet. Um, each one of us has something different because, you know, we all have different tastes. So I got some chicken and dumplings. Um, I figured that would be something hearty. Uh, beef stroganoff. Oh, my granola. It's milk and blueberries. 
So we all have all that stuff. So that's the food. That's my inside pocket there. Okay, that was the inside pocket. Had all my clothes, which just made me realize that I have no coffee in there. So I'm gonna have to um, seal meal some coffee beans because I've got a grinder and everything. Oh, so this is my, um, <laughs> Looks like it's got my life straw. So this is for water. Um, I also, that goes together. My life straw, it's all primed and ready to go. I also have this, it's a life um, straw bag. So it's a gallon, I think a gallon or more of water that you can, so for, for the food and stuff, for cooking and stuff. Um, <clears throat> my backpack has different items in it than my husband's backpack. He's got a cook stove and all kinds of stuff in it. This is a little bit heavier than mine, but I've got like my little mess kit. This is for cooking and put it on open flame. There's my thermal blanket. I told you I had something a little bit warmer in here to help me besides just that little um, sleeping bag. Um, oh, this is my grinder. <laughs> my coffee grinder it's so cool there is a website that you can order all this stuff from um floss because you know you gotta keep your teeth done i also have a comb in here deodorant toothbrush toothpaste um i forgot i have to put in my shampoo and conditioner it's a little bottle sitting out so i'll do that in a little bit and I've got several more pockets open one two three four more to show you it's so funny because I open up a new pocket packet and I'm like what's in here um so I am a girl I'm not I'm not gonna be shy one bit <clears throat> we all need a stash of these <laughs> in case something happens so that's that packet and actually this thing has nothing else in it um and it comes off it's like a little it's got a little bag you know a little it's just a bag that comes off separate so you can do whatever you want with it so i've got plenty of space for my goodies my girly stuff goodies and um for more i mean this backpack, like I said, is full, um, but I got tons more, so I'm going to flip this over. Okay, so this is a water canteen. We have found this at an army surplus store. Love it. Um, my husband's got a similar thing on his small, um, he's got his, he also has this, um, and a medical bag. We found one about this size that fits on here. Um, we've got compasses, fire starter kits, another emergency blanket. Um, this is something that I found at the Dollar Tree. You get it wet. It helps keep you cool. So if it's super hot outside, you know, I mean, just, just sometimes you need little comforts of things and stuff too so that's what's in there let's see what's over here and like I said my husband's got different stuff in his bag um, I've got another life straw um, I believe these are my snow gloves yeah so we used to live in the mountains and had tons of snow stuff so we decided to um, since we live at the beach now and we don't need all of our snow stuff, but it can get cold if we have to bug out really fast and we don't know where we're going to go and we might need layer to layer up and stuff and, and everything. So we've got that. So my bug out bag is, um, in case we have to leave in an emergency, um, all of us, we've got one and different supplies. Hopefully we're together because we do have different things in each one, but we also know, how to survive in the woods and go camping and stuff too. So if we don't have my husband with us, which he has like most of the cook stuff in it, um, I do have a fire kit. I do know how to start a fire. I do know how to cook on my own. Um, my son also, he's got all this ready. We all have our own bug out bags with our own little necessities in it. Um, me going through it made me realize that I do need to add a couple more things to it. Um, 
but this is like one of my so I hope you like what I put in my bug out bag um, it just gives you an idea on kind of what you need and uh, get started because November 3rd is coming fast we don't know what's gonna happen and I hope you're prepared so uh, I'll see you next time hopefully for my trunk or treating and um, have fun happy Halloween